Welcome everyone to one more session in data structures and algorithms tutorial series. In this particular session, we are going to learn about deletion in linked list or we are going to actually delete some nodes in linked list. So let us begin with our lecture. And yes, if you want more such videos from Edignite NGO, then please like, share and subscribe to the Edignite NGO channel. Okay, so let us look at our linked list. Okay. So, as you can see, this will be our linked list. Okay, we have we have several nodes over here. Okay, so let we let it be zero, one, two, three. Okay, zero, one, two, three, and four. Pardon me for my drawings. Okay. So we have several nodes over here. We have head pointing over here. Okay. Then we have first pointing to second, second pointing to second pointing to third. Okay. Then third pointing to fourth and fourth pointing to last. Okay. So fourth is pointing to last and last is pointing to null okay last is pointing to null okay so we have several cases okay first case first case is deletion okay first case is deletion at at first okay deletion at first or last okay this is the first case so in case of deletion at first in case of of deletion at first in case of deletion at first what we will do is we will uh, we will just let me change the color okay so what we will do is we will point our head over here okay we will point our head over here and then we we have pointed our head over here okay and we have just uh, removed this link okay but this will not free this memory okay this particular node will still be there in the memory okay this node will still be there in the memory so we need to free it okay we need to free our dynamic memory okay so we will use the free function for that okay so that way we can just uh, delete at uh, at first okay now what about deletion at first okay we will run a while loop okay we will run a while loop will which will point next 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 okay which will just point to next okay then it will point to next then it will point to next until uh, until next of a node is not equal to null okay over here next of a node will be equal to null okay over here next of the node will be equal to null and now over here we will do two things okay we will do two things let me just explain it to you what we are going to do it okay what we are going to do so over here we will do two two main things okay we will do two main things first one okay we will initialize first node we will initialize first node to p okay and the second node to q and then we will increase it okay we will increase it this will be p and this will be q okay this will be p and then this will be q okay again again this uh, both of these nodes will get exchanged okay both of these nodes will get exchanged both of these will be p and q and it will go on until next of q is equal to until next of q until next of q is equal to null okay it will go on until next of q is equal to null okay and at that time and at that time we will point we will point our p okay next of p to null okay we will point our next of p to null and then delete okay then delete or free the memory of q we will free the memory of q okay so this way we can just delete at first or at last okay now the next case is deletion okay deletion in between deletion deletion in in between okay in deletion in between which has two cases okay which has which again has 
two cases. The first case, first deletion case is deletion at an index. Okay, deletion at an index and deletion by a value. Okay, deletion by a value. So we will look at both of these things. We will look at both of these things later on. Okay, first let us code. Let us code uh, deletion at at first as well as at end okay so we are in our visual studio code and if you don't know about uh, this thing this particular color theme then this is edignite ngo color theme okay so go to your extensions if you want this color theme this particular color theme then go to extension Write a Ignite NGO theme. Okay, install this. This theme has been developed by Prince Verma sir, an alumni of Ignite NGO. Okay, so install this theme, use it in your Visual Studio Code, and rate it if you like the theme. Okay, so we have copied this code and we have pasted it over here. Okay, if you don't know anything about linked list, then do check out the previous video in this same playlist. Okay, so this is our this is our linked list with five nodes okay now we will we will uh, create we will create a deletion okay deletion at at first okay deletion at first deletion at first okay so this will return okay this can return our head okay so we will just write struct okay we will write struct node okay struct node star delete at first okay will it delete at first so over here it will only pass head okay now first of all we will have we will create a pointer okay so let me just create a pointer over here struct node star star ptr okay ptr equal to head ptr equal to head now star ptr is head and now head will point to next okay head dot next of head head will point to next of head okay and then we will just free this pointer okay we will free this pointer and we will return head okay we will return head let me just press tab okay so we will return head okay now let us look it look at it over here okay over here we let, let me just type in traversal let me let me give backslash n backslash n okay and over here over here before traversal let me print let me print before deletion okay let me print before deletion and let me print print after deletion okay after deletion after deletion so before deletion as well as after deletion now we will delete the head and then we will traverse it okay so we will traverse it we will pass the head in traversal okay so you see that we have created our code okay we have created our code and now let us run it okay let us run it whoops we we have an error over here okay we have an error over here let me just close it and then then rerun the code okay it's coming no such file or directory okay so we, we, we need to rename it okay we need to rename it to dot c okay link the list deletion dot c so for earlier it was just a text file okay it was just a text file so we were getting an error so you see that first it was 45, 53, 23, and 56, and 78. And but after deletion, you see that the first element is now uh, 53. Okay, so we have deleted. We have successfully deleted our first element. Okay, let over here. Let me give a new line. Okay, so we have deleted first element. Now we will create code for deleting at last. Okay, so. We will just give, we will just type deletion, deletion at last, okay. We will write deletion at last and we will give struct, struct, node, struct, node, then star, okay. Delete last, okay. Delete last and then let me just remove 
the code from here okay so first we need to have a pointer okay that will point to head okay that will point to head or let me give p okay and then we need to have a q okay we need to have a q that will point to next of head okay so struct node struct node star q star q star q that will point to next of head next of head okay that will point to next of head so we have both p and q okay so we will run the while loop why next of q is not equal to null okay why next of q is not equal to while next of q is not equal to null we need to write a p is equal to p next and q equal to q next okay so p is equal to q or p is equal to p next of p okay p is equal to next of p and q this code is more readable okay this code is more readable as we are incrementing p and q okay we are shifting p and q by one okay so we will do this we will do this while until the q next of q is not equal to none okay and then we need to replace the values okay so next of p next of p will be next of q will be equal to next of q so next of p will be equal to next of q so q dash next okay so q dash next q dash next next of p equal to next of q okay and then then we need to free our q okay so free q so we are we are freeing the last pointer okay we are freeing the last pointer so over here we have we have saved it now let us delete that last okay so let me let me comment this out and let me write head delete last okay head delete last now let us let us run the code okay so let me let me run the code so you 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 see before deletion you had this and after deletion you see 78 has been deleted okay so this way we can delete uh, delete a node at last okay now let us uh, let us move to deletion in between okay so let me just have deletion in between first is by index and then it is by value okay so first we will see deletion by index okay let us look at deletion by index okay first of all let us create a linked list okay i will create a linked list over here okay three four and five and let this point to null okay let this point to null and let this be head okay let this be head let this point to okay we have we have pointers to next okay we have zero one two three four okay we have zero one two three and four over here okay so what we will do we want deletion at index okay we want deletion at index so what we will do we will initialize p as well as q so suppose we want to delete a node okay suppose we want to delete a node at third index okay we want to delete a node at third index okay so we will initialize our p let us have our p over here and q over here okay and we will run a while loop okay we will run a while loop and we will just point this p and q okay we will point this p and q to next and next okay so our p and q will be over here okay and then our p, p and q will be over here okay p and q will be over here so we need to stop over here itself okay we need to stop over here itself so i i over here we need to stop at 2 we need to stop our i at 2 okay so i while i is not equal to okay while i is not equal to 3 minus 1 while i is not equal to 2 run the loop okay run the while loop move 
P and Q pointers. Okay. Now what we will do is we will first step. Okay. First step over here. First step over here. You see that we have stored all the values in P and Q. Okay. Value of 2 and 3 in P and Q. So next of P will be this. Okay. Next of Q will be equal to next of Q. And then we will just remove this Q. We will free Q from the memory. Okay. So this way, this way we can, uh, we can delete an element at index. Okay. So let us see it on, in our Visual Studio code book. Deleting at index. So over here, over here, let me move up. Okay. Let me move up and we will, okay, we will type delete at index. Okay. Deletion at index at index. Okay index and over here it will return it will return a node okay a pointer no a node pointer struct node then we will write delete 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 at index okay it will we will write delete at index delete at index okay then we will, first of all, we will take struct node head and we will take index, okay. Struct node head and then we will take index. Now, whoops, let me just, let me just write, remove this code over here, okay. Now, let me write int i equal to 0, okay. As the index starts from 0. Okay, and we have initialized P, P and Q. P is head, P is at, is at head and Q is at head, next of head. Okay, so we have initialized it. Okay, now if index is equal to equal to 0. Okay, if the index is equal to equal to 0, then we don't need to do anything. Okay, we need to just write. Okay, we need to run the operation which was at first. Okay, head equal to head dot next to free p and return head okay return head else 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 we need to do something okay we need to do something over here now over here we will just write the code okay while while q is not equal to okay while q dot next is not equal to null or while i i is not equal to while i is not equal to index minus one okay while i is not equal to index minus one p uh, okay p equal to p dot next and q will be equal to q dot next okay we will go on running the loop okay we will go on running the loop till we reach our destination okay after we reach our destination we will give okay next of p will be equal to next of q and then q will be freed okay then q will be freed and at last we will return head okay at last we will return head so this is our uh, this is our code okay now let us run this code okay we want uh, we want to clear the element okay we want to clear the the element at in the third one okay we want to clear the third element so element will be at index 2 okay let me just comment this out and then i will write head delete at index okay delete at index and i want it at third so it will be two okay yes it will be two and then let me run the code okay let me run the code so over here over here i have deleted this element i have deleted you see i have deleted this element after 53 we we see 56 okay so this was uh, this was deletion at index okay now let us look at deletion by value okay so let us look at deletion by value over here so first we we have a linked list okay we have a linked list which let me just have a linked list over here okay i have a linked list this is our head and this uh, points to null okay this points to null this points to the next this to next okay and this to next okay 
Now what we will do is over here also we will initialize P and we will initialize Q. Okay. We will initialize P as well as Q and then we will run the while loop. Okay. Then we will we will just run the while loop until until we don't get a specific value. Suppose the value is over here. Okay. Q's value is over here. So data in Q. Okay. Data at Q at address Q. Data at address Q will be equal to the value that we have given. Okay. If it is equal to the value, then delete that particular node. Okay. So for deleting that node, we will just point this node over here. Okay. Node over here and then we will delete Q. Okay, but but it may also happen. It may also happen that P and we reach at the end of this particular uh, linked list. We reach the end of at this particular linked list and we don't get get the value. Okay, so we need to have two conditions. Otherwise, we will we may run into an infinite loop. Okay, first we need to have two conditions. First condition is q data okay first condition is q data equals value okay first condition or or q next is equal to null okay or q next equals null we need to stop over here okay we need to stop at uh, when any one of this condition is met okay so let us let us go to our visual studio code okay let us go to our visual studio code and then uh, look at the code okay so this was deletion at index this was deletion at index and then we will have deletion 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 at value okay deletion at value this will return struct node star okay the struct node star delete at value delete at value over here and then let let me just uh, remove the code in between okay let me remove the code in between okay so here we have we have node okay head and we have q okay we have q now we need to run a while loop over here while okay while q next of q next of q while or data inside q is equal to equal to value okay is equal to equal to value or 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 the q next of q is equal to equal to null okay okay we need to run this or we we can write is not equal to okay is not equal to and we run until this is not equal to value or q next q next is not equal to null okay is not equal to null is not equal to null run the code until this condition okay now we will delete only if if and only if the data inside q is equal to value okay if the data inside q is equal to value but before we do it let us let us increment the values okay let us increment it so p p next okay p next will be equal to sorry p equal will be equal to p next okay p will be equal to p next and q will be equal to q will be equal to q next okay q will be equal to q next q will be equal to q next so we need to run this loop okay we need to move p and q until until either of the conditions get satisfied okay until either of the condition get satisfied so this way we can just run it okay until either of the condition get satisfied let me reject the code okay i think over here it will be m percent m percent okay it will be and and okay and and both of these conditions it should not be equal to value also or and the next should not be equal to null also okay both both of these conditions should get satisfied okay so over here 
we have uh, we have given p and q and now we will we will just type if if we want to delete only if q data is equal to equal to okay data inside q data inside q is equal to equal to value okay if we are at the end of the loop then we don't want to delete the new okay so over here p is next okay p is next p is next p is next will be equal to p is next will be equal to q's next okay p is next will be equal to q's next q's next and then q will be free okay so free q free q okay so we, we have saved it okay we have saved it and now let us run the code okay so over here let me comment this out and then let us have head okay head delete at value head delete at value and we have given 56 okay so 56 will be deleted okay i will just uh, save it and then run the code okay will save it and run the code you see that the element is deleted element at 56 was deleted and you can see the result over here suppose what i what if i write 66 instead of 56 and run the code okay you see that i will get array as it is okay this array is as it is nothing has been deleted over here so this was about deleting a node in a from a linked list so that's it for this particular session let's meet in the next session thank you everyone